Hi, I'm James Wilkinson and I've been a travel editor for over 20 years. On this show, we're going to take you to some of the world's most amazing destinations, from the big cities to the great regional areas. We'll go inside some of the world's best hotels, bars, restaurants, galleries and much more. Right now, we're in Singapore and this is Wayfarer. Singapore is known for its fantastic bars and restaurants, shopping, hotels, attractions and for being one of the financial powerhouses of Asia. It's great for a couple of days or a week-long escape. Let's go exploring. Welcome to Mount Faber high atop Singapore. We're about to go on the famous Singapore cable car over to Sentosa. Now it's much more than just a cable car ride because we're gonna show you some of the great food, wine, and entertainment experiences this place has to offer. The Singapore Cable Car is the Lion City's only cableway that's welcomed over 57 million riders since it first took flight in 1974. Now in their fourth generation, the cabins offer a 360 degree visual treat as they traverse over a forest and a highway, through an office building, over a cruise bay, and around Sentosa. It's the most unique way to enter Sentosa and kickstart a day of fun-filled activities on the island. Here you'll find stunning views, great food and drinks, cable car rides, shopping and other fun activities. When it comes to food and drinks, make sure your first stop is Arbora. To find out more, let's catch up with Executive Chef Kenny Yao. Well, Chef, thanks so much for having us up here. We're here at Arbora Bistro, which is high atop the hill here in Singapore. And there's not many restaurants like this in Singapore yeah, yeah, on a hill a, with a great view. It's the only one restaurant in the hilltop, 100 meter. Yeah. And uh, you see, you've been in uh, hospitality for a long time. So tell yeah. us about the inspiration about the restaurant and the food. Mm, our restaurant is a garden cafe concept. So our food is mm, mixed with Asia and Western and Southeast Asia cuisine. Yeah, this is our concept, so it's suitable for family and the fan gathering. Because you, you do get guests that come here that are from all parts of, all yes, parts of the all, world. Yeah, yes, yeah. it's all over the world. Yeah, so that's why we so recommend some Asia cuisine with some Western uh, presentation. Yeah. yeah. And we've got some of your great dishes here on the table. What are, what are some of your favourites? Uh, my favourite is the chilli crab duck. And chilli crab is a famous dish in Singapore. So it is a Western potato skin. We deep fry and put on top of it. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, great. So you're kind of, you're marrying a few different cultures in the one uh, in the one dish there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. suitable for our concept. It's very naughty and we can play around all the flavor and the cuisine. But that's a lot of fun. So a lot of the food here is really kind of that uh, modern Australian, modern American, brasserie kind of food there. Yeah, we, we mix a lot of seafood, poultry, and awesome. meat. So we create and put it all together best for cooking, the important thing is the flavour and the balancing. And when it comes to um, the dining up here, obviously the view also comes into effect here. You've got a pretty amazing view, don't you? People come here, it's not only view, also for the food. <laughs> yeah, good view, good food, it's all about and it's good for family and friends. And it's very much a, a foodie town, Singapore. There's a lot of great restaurants in Singapore, a lot of great food. So expectations are pretty high when people go to restaurants in Singapore. Yeah, it's very competition. So we have to try our best to create and more change the menu more regularly to attract the people from even stores, even Singapore, so all over the world. And uh, you've uh, had a 30-year career in hospitality in Singapore. So you've seen things change uh, dining-wise in those years uh, quite dramatically. Yeah, yes. In Singapore also very fast. The train come and go. So I think for me, the classic is the more important. Wherever you change, but you still stick to the classic. Yeah. Yeah, if they can stick to the classic, you get more creative. Well, I look forward to trying some of the food. Yeah, please. One of the great things about Mount Faber here in Singapore is that it's home to Dusk Restaurants and Bar, which has some fantastic food and wine and incredible views of Sentosa. 
At dusk, you'll find a menu from Chef Kenny that features some Western favorites like steak, duck, and tiger prawns, as well as a fantastic European tapas menu consisting of some all-time favorites. Here you can also expect a very good international wine list and cocktails freshly mixed from leading bartender, Mohamed Yazi. Now he's going to mix up one of his favorites. Hello, next we will do the Mr. 42 Fechua. It's a unique vodka from New Zealand. Fechua is actually from a flavor of guava. So we specially import this vodka to give the aromatic flavor of guava to influence our Mr. 42, which is one of our unique uh, cocktails for the gentleman. We will use 40 ml, a special uh, mix for the sweet and sour. Two squeeze of lime wedge, special cucumber essence from Monan. Reason being, it gives a little freshness of cucumber with the pechua and a little bit of good aroma of cucumber for the cocktail. Last not least, fresh Japanese cucumber to garnish. There you go to enjoy Mr. 42 Pechua. Cheers! One of the fun experiences to do here is the cable car sky dining, which is a three course meal up in the sky and it's one of the most unique experiences in Asia. The cable car sky dining is ideal for couples and friends looking for a unique and intimate dining experience. And in fact, it's the first and only one of its kind in Asia. On board, you'll enjoy a four course meal in your very own private cable car cabin as you take in the lights and splendor of Singapore's famous skyline. The dinner experience takes around 90 minutes and once you're finished, there's a show that you must check out. Wings of Time is the only permanent multi-sensory night show in the world set in the open sea. Go on an adventure with Shabazz, a prehistoric bird-like creature and his friends Rachel and Felix. You'll be dazzled by a larger than life water screen with multimedia effects, lasers, robotic water fountains and giant water jets and there's also some spectacular pyrotechnics. Now let's take a journey to Singapore's popular Changi Airport and check in to a fantastic hotel. The Crown Plaza Hotel at Changi Airport is recognised as one of the best airport hotels in the world. Let's go inside now and find out why. Crown Plaza at Changi Airport is recognised as one of the best business and airport hotels in the world and to tell us all about it today is the General Manager Bruno Cristal and Bruno, you're great for business travellers, leisure travellers and you're an airport, so you tick a lot of boxes. Exactly, we're basically a modern business traveller, uh, you know, type of uh, airport hotel. We won uh, now five times uh, in a row, uh, world's best airport in uh, different capacity. Obviously, the connectivity, the seamless, the high-tech innovations. Uh, it's quite a big hotel now, it's about 600 rooms, it's two wings, and we have as well a staycation. So it's been great for us to see all these segmentations uh, improving slowly. Uh, and now with a jewel next door to the Crown Plaza, it's super successful and really helping us to have that staycation. And you've got uh, a lot of different room products in here, some of them which overlook the runways, which is a great fun thing to, to do when you're in Singapore. It is. It's, uh, you know, the kids uh, order room service and uh, they stay in front of the, the window and they uh, look at the runway view. Uh, you can see the A380 uh, landing or uh, take off during uh, when it's really bad weather. It's yeah. quite amazing and it's very close. Uh, it's a very popular room and we have about 30 or 40 uh, and you feel so close to the runway. It's quite unbelievable. But it's, it's not like other, a lot of other airport hotels because you're actually on the airport itself. A lot of airport hotels aren't on the airport. So the convenience factor you have here is you're attached to the terminals. Exactly, it's uh, one of our USP, uh, you know, the biggest uh, connectivity or the, the shortest. We are even two minutes from this shopping center I just mentioned before. But from the airport, we're even less than a minute. So we have even trolleys from the airport coming into our room here. So the guests can use the airport trolley 
to go right into their Fantastic. room at yeah. 4 a.m. in the morning, taking a United Airlines flight or whatever. They go straight away to the airport in very, very less than a minute. And tell us about the features of the hotel. You've got a great club lounge here, you've got a restaurant, a bar, and a, a, a fantastic pool as well. Thank you. Yes, we do have a lot of facilities, as I say, but uh, we have as well a few outsourced restaurants, uh, from the Chinese to Japanese, all around us, and all the terminals. So all the guests quite like that. Uh, but recently, we embarked on a lot of technology, innovations. Yeah. So safe checking kiosk and all these things. Thank you. The hottest new shopping centre in Singapore and probably the world right now is Jewel at Changi Airport. Inside you'll find hundreds of shops and restaurants, a forest, and as you can see right behind me, a giant indoor waterfall. Let's check it out. The Jewel Changi Airport is a nature-themed entertainment and retail complex that's linked to three of its passenger terminals. Its centerpiece is the world's tallest indoor waterfall, the Rain Vortex, which is surrounded by a terraced forest setting. The waterfall is a spectacular backdrop, no matter if you're eating or shopping, and it's no wonder it's quickly become one of the most photographed sites in Singapore. Inside Jewel, you'll find a plethora of activities, restaurants, shops, and even a micro hotel. It's been an exciting addition to one of the world's best airports. Coming up on the next episode of Wayfarer. Hi, I'm James Wilkinson and I've been a travel editor for over 20 years. On this show, we're going to take you to some of the world's most amazing destinations, from the big cities to the great regional areas. We'll go inside some of the world's best hotels, bars, restaurants, galleries, and much more. Right now, we're in China, and this is Wayfarer. I like to bring our passengers in this place. It is the oldest house in Shanghai. It's pretty off limits to the public, so it's a real insider spot. Basically here we have uh, our food uh, is a sharing, sharing concept and it's very uh, bistro type of food.